are you? What's up guys, welcome back to Too Good Incorporated. My name is Party Pete and today we're taking a look at two figures. This isn't really a fig brawl, a figure fight like our last video. Um, but all the same, we're going to take a look at both of these and kind of determine which one is king. So, as you can tell, I looked out and got McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat Spawn. Combat edition of Spawn, Spawn edition of Mortal Kombat, Spawn. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But there's a lot of differences. Just looking at the figures inside the package of these two figures, that I figured, you know what? <laughs> Get it, figures for them, figure. Uh, I gotta really do a comparison between the two of these because they are different. Um, in a lot of subtle, but at least to me, noticeable ways far be it from just having different weapons um, and different slightly different packaging but anyway um, we're gonna get right into it because why waste our time taking a look at sword spawn first we got the Mortal Kombat logo up top we've got a nice huge window showing the figure off uh, we've got spawn right over here on the bottom left hand corner with his name right there we've got the sword being shown off He's got a top window up over here. It says 14 plus, not a toy right over there at the top left hand corner. We got the McFarlane logo right over here on the right. We've got a nice uh, detailed look at Spawn right over here. Kind of shows up close to the cape and the figure himself right over here on the side of the package with Mortal Kombat right there on the top. McFarlane toys on the bottom. Here is the back where it says he's got 22 moving parts. So moving parts meaning, I guess, articulation? Maybe. I don't know. He's got pretty cool effects right over here in the back as well. Kind of looks like he's coming out of, like, some green energy or coming straight out of hell. Whatever. Uh, he looks cool. Doing a nice little strut with that sword right there. We've got the WB logo right over here in the bottom. We've got Never... Never. We've got Netherrealm... Uh, Netherrealm, which is... The makers of Mortal Kombat right over there. McFarlane.com, McFarlane Toys. Here's all the legalese on the bottom. We've got the UPC right there. Side of the other the other side of the box, we've got the Mortal Kombat logo. The rest of the window right over there. And that's about it. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this bad boy open. So I took the figure outside of the box and we got the Mortal Kombat logo there in the back. I didn't even see it when the figure was in there. And he does come with a display stand as well it says Mortal Kombat on there very cool very nice touch I like that alrighty people we got spawn out of that box and that was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be uh, after nearly stabbing myself three times with this stupid knife I finally pulled him out of the package um, kinda got a really close look at him you know when I was getting him out of there uh, he looks really good actually uh, he looks a lot better outside of the box than he does in the box. So what we're going to do now is we're just gonna kind of uh, go over his paint in details because that's one of the big things that I've noticed with the with the Axe Spawn is that he kind of looked nicer uh, to me in the box. But this spawn looks pretty dang good actually. Let's see if we can move some light over here. There we go. So paint decal applications the eyes look, have that green glow effect around there. The cape looks textured all the way around. Uh, it's a real bright red cape. You can see all the little marks and stuff. It kind of looks like the cape is alive. And it looks a lot brighter on the camera, but I assure you it's more of like a blood red. Uh, spikes look good over here on the left arm. You can see a lot of detail pretty much present throughout the entire figure. Uh, the belt looks good with the chains on there. He's got a little neck chain right over here with two skulls. Uh, paint looks a little sloppy around the uh, cod piece area, we'll call it. It's really more of a crotch, but whatever. And pouches look good over here, of course, because it was the 90s. You got to have a lot of pouches. And, you know, Spawn is just kind of like the ultimate 90s comic book. Um, example, aside from Deadpool. 
I guess anything from Lightfield would actually be pretty 90s comic book, to be honest with you. But anyway, we digress. We are looking now right over here at the feet. Feet look pretty good as far as paint goes. This looks good. It looks nice. Um, we'll go right into articulation since we've already got him out of the box. Why not? So, um, it looks like, yeah, he rotated all the way around, kind of. The cape gets in the way a little bit. Um, arm moves up and down and does swivel 360 degrees he's got a bicep swivel right over here dual elbows i do like that however i think his armor is going to get in the way uh, nine out of ten times you try to pose them uh, wrists kind of don't really move because of the armor again right arm seems a little bit free he can get all the way up to his face kind of look like he's like making like a menacing pose pretty cool again the wrist it's going to be obscured or obstructed by uh, that arm guard or that hand guard right over there in the right arm. Head, left and right. Doesn't really move up and down. Ab crunch. And pretty good ab crunch. It's, it's a pretty respectable ab crunch. Look, he's kind of doing the matrix pose right there. Um, he's got a swivel also right there at the chest. Doesn't look like he's got one down over here at the, at the uh, waist area very very good split he does a really high kick right there I don't know if you guys have ever played the <laughs> the spawn um, fighting game was it this fighting game I don't know it was some crappy game back in the 90s for like the PS1 where the kick other than all the other cool stuff that spawn does including shoot people was the most powerful thing in the game you can literally kick your way through the game maybe it was a Super Nintendo game I'm not sure uh, anyway, uh, no no thigh soles right over here. He does have a double knee. Again, that armor is kind of, kind of be an issue when you're trying to get the most posability out of him. And I guess also the cape as well. Yeah, the cape is the cape kind of uh, gets in the way of a lot of things right over here. Um, he's got a ball joint right over here for the ankle. Moves up and down. And then, of course, he does have a toe bend. A toe bend goes all the way up like that so aside from the obvious or rather aside from the pain and all the other details and stuff like that between the two of these figures I'm gonna see if I can stand them up and if I can I'm gonna get frustrated and cry just kidding I'm not gonna cry on camera I'll cry off camera so he's got a sword um, got a lot of nice detail on there the sword looks pretty cool it's textured it's painted really well it's got the green eyes right there. Um, you know, you can pretty much tell this is Spawn Sword if you looked at it. Um, a lot of serration on there, or the, or the grooves or whatever, it looks really cool. It's got like a little pike over here at the, at the hilt, the end of it. So, yeah, and that's pretty much it. As far as accessories, paint, articulation go, that was the Sword Spawn. Let's take a look at the Axe Spawn next. Taking a look at Axe Spawn now, inside of the package, you see a lot of it's the same, he's got the same Mortal Kombat logo, it says Spawn right over here in the bottom right hand corner, it's got more languages for this is not a toy right over here, 14 plus of course, it's got the McFarlane logo like the other one did, huge window for the figure, again, uh, same pictures actually right over here on the right side of the box, back of the box, he's got his sword, he's swinging it really high, He's ready to kick someone's ass in Mortal Kombat. 22 moving parts like the other uh, spawn that we just looked at. NetherRealm Studios, WB Games, McFarlane. There's the UPC, all the legal stuff right there in the bottom. Uh, yeah, top of the box. It's got the same little window deal. There we go. Side of the box, Mortal Kombat. Pretty much the same box with, I mean, honestly, Aside from having the axe picture over here in the back and then saying uh, not a toy in like three different languages. So we're going to go ahead and open them up also and take a look inside and see how he compares to the sword spawn. So I don't know how I'm missing the Mortal Kombat logo behind these figures, but hey, it's here too. I just, I don't know, I just didn't see it in there. And of course he also comes with a figure stand. Very cool. Jeez Louise, I don't know what it is about these spawn figures, but they literally loop the cape through the plastic 
like there's a big old gap right there you can see right through boom that whole cape is in there and then he's got his head also stuck over here like they really don't want you to get these figures out of the box at any rate here is axe spawn so very similar to the other spawn that we just looked at which was the sword um i do notice that he does have slightly darker black around the eyes it really pops that green effect that's coming out of his eyes as well um the paint application actually looks a lot better on this figure to be honest with you um it looks like the cape has a darker wash right over here on the back you can see a lot of the details of the cape um the body himself looks a lot darker to me now, a lot cleaner paint all over the place i mean the other one kind of had some runny paint right over here in the crotch area let me just bring it out just real quick so you can see that there's kind of like uh, just a little bit of runoff of the black paint right over there on that right side um, which is not present right over here you know you can't see it on that one um, it just seems to me like the overall quality of the paint application on this figure looks a lot cleaner um, a lot sharper a lot darker a lot deeper some of the details are lost in my opinion like if you're looking at this gauntlet right over here on the right arm compared to this gauntlet right over here I actually prefer this one because it looks like it just has more detail in there um, the spikes also look different as well yeah, you can kind of tell that there's like curvy spikes on this one whereas this one doesn't aside from that real big curvy spike right here in the middle uh, this one doesn't really curve that much uh, looking right over here on the left arm I would say these look pretty uniform as far as the left arm goes pretty similar uh, the spikes do look a little cleaner right over here these look a little bit darker uh, let's take a look at the hands the hands are actually shinier on the axe spawn if you take a look at that hand right there it's got a little, little bit more sheen than this one does and I'm not sure how well that actually shows on the camera but at least um, to me they're looking pretty sharp or rather cleaner uh, right over here we've got the head comparison so again darker around the axe spawn right over here compared to this spawn which is the sword spawn um, articulation is going to be the exact same thing as far as I can tell but just to kind of you know, go through the motions 360 bicep elbow not really wrist again ab crunch ab crunch back not really because of that it's got the uh, chest swivel right over here no bicep no thigh swivel excuse me really large split you can do those kicks double knee boop and that's a real huge double knee actually dang um, ankle's got the ball joint right over here and then of course he has the toe bend so pretty much the same figure aside from the fact that you also get the axe now the axe in my opinion is the better looking weapon just because I mean between the two of these I would much rather go with the axe the axe has huge blades it looks cooler it's got darker green on the eyes right over there it has a darker red oops has a darker red on the handle uh, same little black pike right there on the bottom of the handle um, I'm also a Soul Calibur 2 fan like I played like a million hours of that game so having an axe spawn compared to sword spawn um, is right up my alley I really do prefer uh, the axe to the sword just my opinion I'm sure the character will look good with both of these on there so we're gonna go ahead and do that and of course just as I anticipated he does look super dope having both of these weapons in his hand like man he looks awesome and of course this is actually the axe version right here that I'm holding up so um, let me go ahead and just put these two guys next to each other so as far as these figures go both of them were about seven inches tall from the head I guess you want to look at it that way yeah from the head they, they're about seven inches tall both of them um, obviously they're the same figure so they're going to be a similar height Let's get some other figures in here to kind of check out how the scaling works with other figures if you just happen to have them. So here he is compared to Mattel's Elite 26 Ultimate Warrior. You can tell that Spawn definitely towers over him. 
Uh, let's see if we can get like a larger figure in here. I have the NECA T800 right over here. And there, yes, yeah, Spawn is actually surprisingly much taller than the T800. You can see him in front of him, from behind him. Yeah, Spawn's head is just way taller than this figure. So he actually doesn't scale with anything that I have. Because the next figure I was going to use for scale is Duke from G.I. Joe and he is just being towered over by this huge monster right over here you can see where Duke's head is right over here compared to Spawn's Duke's head is like right at the chest of Spawn um, so yeah very awesome very huge figure with a lot of great articulation and detail um, looking very sharp okay guys we're at the end of the video I've unpackaged both figures I must say that I am definitely leaning towards the Axe Spawn as the nicer looking figure as far as paint, as far as shading goes, um, but not so much as detail. I feel like Sword Spawn has a little bit more detail. Um, I guess if you had a chance to get either one of these figures, it would just come down to preference of weapon. Me, I'm a, again a Soul Calibur 2 fan, so I had to have the Axe Spawn right over here. Sword is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, but Axe Spawn is just better to me. And um, it's only fitting that you'd have nicer paint application than the sword. Now, between the two of these, um, they did have a lot more time to put out Axe Spawn. Um, at least as far as I know. Because I know when Sword Spawn got announced, like a month later, boom, he was already hitting stores and stuff like that. He was getting sold out. In fact, he's still being sold out. Um, Axe Spawn, people are readily getting him a over there at Target, he is a Target exclusive for San Diego Comic-Con 2020. At least I think he is. Um, but yeah, I mean overall, if it really came down to it, no matter which one you got, aside from the Mace version, because the Mace looks totally whack and not as cool as the sword or, or the axe in my opinion, um, you're ending up with a pretty good spawn figure. Now if you have other spawn weapons and stuff like that, I mean they're going to scale exactly with spawn. So they'll look good in his hands, uh, no matter what you have. If you have those weird um, AK looking weapons from the 90s that have like all kinds of blades and stuff on them, they're going to look really good with this figure as well. Um, so again guys, thank you guys so much for your time, for coming in and checking out these two figures with me. Um, if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter at IHatePartyP. Um, hit like or subscribe to this channel be part of the uh 30 percent of people who are sub to this channel and actually watch it i think i've got like 76 percent of people who have seen videos on my channel and aren't really uh subscribed so you know hey go ahead and take the take the, take the jump get in here um we've got a lot more videos to come and we've got a lot of more surprises to come as well so i really hope you guys enjoyed it stay safe Stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one.